a completely PC-free method where we would be recovering our device easily and quickly. What would we be doing? Well, the first thing we're going to do is watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't miss any details and can fix and recover your device. As we can see, our device is completely reset. What we did from the beginning was reset our phone because we had forgotten the pattern or password. Then, after restarting, we see that we have this padlock on the upper left side, where we still have the same screen lock we had before. It's also now asking for the Google account for those who haven't been able to recover their device yet and are looking for a method. I recommend you watch this step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't miss any details and can fix and recover your device once we've completely recovered our device, at the end of the video I'll explain what you re going to do next. Why? Because we always have some errors left. After fully recovering our phone. To correct all those errors I'll explain what you're going to do. Having said all that, what we're going to do first, of all, before starting the recovery process, is connect to a Wi-Fi network. Let's go through the whole process first. So we can begin the recovery process. We also want to mention that in the video description and in the first pinned comment, we'll be leaving a completely different method. Updated methods will be in that description so you can solve some of these problems and recover your device. You know that in the video description and in the first pinned comment, we have methods. Both for PC and several methods without a PC for those who want. To use the PC method, you can find other methods in that. Description as well as other methods without a PC. Several methods to recover your device easily and quickly. Now that we've Arrived here, we're going to click where it says, don't copy. Clicking, don't copy, will take us directly to. The screen lock we had from the beginning. That was the lock we had at the beginning of the video tutorial. After formatting, we had a screen lock, and that same lock reappeared. Here, we're left with the option to use a Google account. We're going to click where. It says, use a Google account. This is for those who don't know their screen lock because. It was changed and they forgot it. They can use an email address. The one they had on their phone. They can add it here. Click next. Add the password and it will give you direct access to your device. Ready to configure without needing to watch this entire video tutorial. But let's say you forgot that email address, it also gives you the option to add a phone number. We can add a phone number, we can add it. After we add it, you'll receive a recovery code on your device. You enter it, and from there, it will also give you access to your device. But let's say you don't have either of those two options. Then I recommend watching the step-by-step -step video tutorial. We're going to click here where it says, forget Gmail. Here we'll write anything. We'll click next, here too. Here we'll write anything, don't worry. We'll click next again, we're going to do this for a minute and a half. When a minute and a half has passed, this is to enable.
a function that will help us access our device. So we're going to do this for a minute and a half too. Enable a function that will give us access to. Recover our device easily and quickly without needing. To use a PC, that's why we always recommend. Watching the video tutorial step by step, because if you skip ahead, in the video and skip this process when you get to the indicated part you won't be able to solve the problem and recover your device because that option won't be enabled you'll lose the progress you made the time you had because that function wasn't enabled so now that we've moved on a minute and a half. So what we're going to do now is go back to start the recovery process. If you see these errors we have here, the option to click next doesn't appear. If you see the option where we don't click next, if you see the error that's happening here, if you see the error that appears, well, now we go back, we go back, 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 we click here, forward, now we click forward. Now we're going to click here where it says policy and privacy. I mean, sorry, policy and privacy. We're going to look for a function, we're going to look for a function. Here in the last option we're going to click here. Then we're going to go down here to Motorola.com. We're going to go down here. We're going to click on this profile. We're no longer going to log in through Motorola as we did before. We're not going to log in through where it says Google. We're going to log in through Google here. Then we're going to select this option that says help. Help will take us directly to this magnifying glass. Being here on this magnifying glass, we're going to click. On these blue letters, on the magnifying glass, we're going to do it. Times it usually takes a while for that option to appear. Here it is, we're going to click here on share. Now what we're going to do is select message. We click on new message, here we're going to write any number. We select the number, here what we're going to do now is click the X. We click the camera here to take a photo. We're going to give it any permissions that appear here, we click on the photo. Go ahead, we're going to click, we're going to take a photo, we click here on the little arrow. Now we click on the image. We're going to click here on share. We're going to look for a Google option that appears here, here is the Google Maps option. We're going to select this Google Maps option, ready, we're going to click here on skip. We grant all the permissions, we click on the X, we click on cancel, we click here on the X, we say yes, and now it's arrived. It would take us directly to this section, it would take us here. Uh, to this little circle, this is where we would be selecting. We're going to select this little ball. We click here on settings. We click here on notifications. We activate the notifications are activated. We go back notifications. We've already enabled it. Ready. They are enabled correctly. We click here where it says location. We're going to click here on OK accessibility settings. We select accessibility settings, here Google location settings. Here we're going to select all, here it appears. Nothing, but don't worry, here. You'll see what we did from the beginning. Let's apply it here. We tap the three dots, select, show system, and here we can see what Google Play services are. Okay, so far so good. 
Now, what we're going to do here is type accessibility. We're going to type the three letters accessibility here and accessibility will appear. Now we go to the accessibility menu and enable this menu. Okay, it's enabled. We go back and delete it. We're going to type battery. Here we'll see. This option that says app battery usage, we're going to select the option that's automatically highlighted. Now what we're going to do is scroll down and select Google Play services. Here we're going to disable these Google Play services. They are now completely disabled. Now what we're going to do is restart our phone. When our phone restarts completely, we'll finish the recovery process. That's why it's always recommended to watch the video tutorial step by step so you don't miss any details and can solve the problem. This is about deleting and recovering your device. As we mentioned earlier in our video tutorials, we have other In the video description and in the first, you can find them. A PC, methods using a PC, and other methods. Since our device has started correctly, we'll click next. We'll get to a screen where we see the option to don't copy. Sometimes, in some cases, this option takes a long time to appear. If that's the case for you, disconnect your Wi-Fi network or select Continue Offline. We'll wait a few seconds. Another thing I want to mention is that when we recover our phone, it often has some errors. Sometimes, when we lock the screen, it doesn't work when we try to unlock it. Why? Because we've blocked Google services. Leaving us with many errors. How do we fix all these errors? Well, I'll explain at the end. From the video on how to fix all the remaining errors on our device. Having said all that, we're going to go back. We're going to tap here to continue offline. But you don't need to have any SIM card entered. You don't need to have any SIM card entered. You tap here to continue, the screen will be flashing. We're going to tap here on next. Here we go, we're going to get to this point. When we get to this point we go back. We're going to tap these three dots, we're going to tap here on accessibility. We're going to tap the magnifying glass here, we're going to type battery. We type battery, we type. We tap here on app battery usage, we tap here on app battery usage and now we're going to scroll down. We tap here where it says Google Play services. And we're going to enable these Google Play services. We go back gently. Gently, gently. Slowly, we're going to tap here now on continue offline. Without having any SIM card entered so that the process takes you to the successfully being here we're going to click next. It would take us, we click here to accept. We click here to skip and we're already in the last steps. Now we don't click now, not now, not now, and not now. We click next here, we would already be in the final step. But as we have indicated, our phone still has some errors. How do we correct all these errors? I'll explain what you're going to do. 
Well, you're going to go to settings, being here in settings you go here to system. Here in system you'll be able to find the reset option. You're going to reset your phone. When your phone is completely reset, you'll have a device free of any errors. Only then, you'll have to configure it again as we just did.